Hello guys, so today we will try uh, a new feature in Blender 2.93 beta and that is to import SVG as Grease Pencil. We will use that feature to import this character, this little duck from uh, Moho 12. So first we open the sky, we choose a frame here and then go to file, export, export frame to SVG. So we choose a folder of course and then save our SVG. Okay, save. And now we try to open this guy in Blender. So let's uh, create a new 2D animation project and then we try to import the guy here. It is here but it's blank SVG as grease pencil. To uh, make it active we should go to object mode and then again our import SVG as grease pencil go to our folder and choose our SVG here and import SVG so that's easy isn't it but you see that we have a lot of issues here so uh, we have these strokes that look weird and we have this thingy in the body here so if we go to back to Moho you see that we have uh, some strokes with the uh, variable width as you can see here and we have a gradient here in the body so what happened is that our strokes weren't exported uh, properly actually they weren't exported as strokes so if you go to edit mode here you see that uh, there are some shapes here so in the feet we have this shape and then a second feet shape and we have four shapes here instead of one stroke and we have a lot of shapes here with different widths etc we have only one stroke here in the eye and the gradient in the body wasn't exported correctly too actually i never uh, could make gradient work in blender i don't know why i don't know if it's a bug or something every time i uh, try a gradient here it doesn't work at all it just shows a solid color but is it uh, a problem with uh, the export function in moho or is it a problem with how uh, blender imports svgs to be sure of that i opened my svg here in firefox and you can see that we have the same issue here with the stroke so if you zoom in with Control plus and then we move it so you can see that we have the same issue here in the mouth for example and here and also here in the feet so it's the same problem but for the gradient for the body the gradient was exported correctly but blender wasn't able to read the gradient correctly so we still have some issues with uh, gradients in blender you see here that the transparency in the shadow here was imported i think let's try to add a shape here let's add a new layer put it behind the duck and then go to um, draw mode and select a square select a fill here let's use a vertex coloring and choose this blue color and add the square here enter and you can see that we have transparency in the shadow so, so that was important correctly here we have also transparency in the body instead of a gradient so to fix these issues some at least of these issues let's go back to moho let's choose our shape select tool and select our body i don't know and then we go to here to the effects and instead of gradient we choose plain so now we disable the gradient and for the strokes for the variable strokes what i'm gonna do is to go to each of these layers use the line width tool do Control a to select all the points and then use the tool to just lower the width of the with the left click of course of your mouse to zero and then up again so now we have a constant width here in the wing let's choose another layer and it's the mouth now we do Control a we select everything again with left click we remove the strokes and then we don't remove them we lower the width to zero and then again up so that it is constant again to another layer Control a 
zero and then up so to another layer and it's the the closed eye we select everything control a and then our line width tool and to zero and then up again so you shouldn't just go down to zero and then up again you should go to zero and click <laughs> and then click again and then back like this we do the same with this eye i think this stroke worked in blender because we have constants with here so just leave it as these now for the body something wrong happened with this wing so just let's just fix it here oh i forgot how to use more honestly <laughs> um too used to the workflow of blender this is okay i think this is it and now we go again to file export frame as svg choose our uh, old file and then save and then yes and now we can reload our file here in firefox and you see that we have proper strokes here except here in the mod i think i forgot some parts let's not bother with them let's just object mod delete this guy and then import again import svg as grease pencil et voila so this is a much better ducky duck let's go to edit mode and check our strokes now we have correct strokes here with a few vertices here we can enable curve editing to make it look better disable adaptive thingy we can now fix it and yeah, add our your variable width again with the uh, alt s here and you can you can use uh, the sky here proportional editing so alt s and just lower the value here and you can do this this kind of thingies what we need to do here is to add some layers and put these guys in different layers for example you do uh, you add one layer for the front wing let's call it f wing and then you select the f wing here you can select just one vertice let's disable and then do stroke move to layer f wing you see that we transferred some of our strokes but it's a weird stroke it's a brown stroke let's try to move one of these guys so l to select all related and then g l again let's try to move this guy with g okay it looks it looks okay move this guy l here move this guy so you see that the stroke is not continued you have multitude of strokes here l again let's move this guy g okay this is the fill and here we have a stroke we have a multitude of strokes actually maybe the brown strokes were uh, something i made in moho and forgot about it was hidden behind the gray strokes maybe it's my fault of course it was my fault so uh, back in moho here we use our select shape tool after selecting our layer so we select here you use the down arrow in your keyboard if you have a similar issue now you can select this brown stroke and you can hit delete in the keyboard to delete it and voila so yeah this is what you will uh, need to do you need to add new layers and transfer your wing in a separate layer transfer your legs in separate layers your head your eyes maybe your mouth it depends on the character you have tell me if uh, you think it's worth it or if it's better to just draw it again in blender instead of importing from moho or maybe just import it as uh, a template and then draw over it in blender i don't know if it's better for uh, simpler or for more complicated characters if it's a simple character i guess it's easy to import and also easy to draw if it's a complex character it's also uh, harder to import it because you will need to be very careful with these uh, strokes and to uh, arrange them in different layers and if you have this a mess like this with bra <laughs> with uh, uh, extra strokes or uh, fills or anything also if it's complex character it's more complex to import it and also more complex to uh, draw it from scratch i think it's a nice feature and it should uh, be useful to some of you i think i will just draw my duck from scratch in blender thank you for watching and see you in another video peace